Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video from yours truly. Well, this is my third and final installment on the whole reviewing and discussing the Animal Crossing character designs. In the first video, I discussed the villagers with the names starting with the letter A through I, and the second was J through R, and finally, this last one will be letters S to Z because that's the last letter of the alphabet. Before I continue, subscribe if you want. I'm having fun making these Animal Crossing videos and editing them. It's pretty cool. It's become a new hobby for me through this whole quarantine thing. Keep on watching if you want to hear more about them. So I'm in the same setting but I've changed the angle a little bit. You know if this is ugly or not. I kind of want to use natural lighting but at the same time the background like behind my window, like across from my window, it was pretty boring. And so that's why I'm still filming like this. Oh, and since I filmed, we have a, a new guest right there. I got her for my birthday. Her birthday was in May, but um, Apple took her time getting here. She is my favorite Animal Crossing villager. So without further ado, here we go. First villager we're going to talk about today is Sally. So she's a normal villager with a plain design. All that recipe comes together to make a pretty normal villager. Not, not that much to talk about really. So Samson is the normalest looking mouse. Um, well, from the nose up, because all the mice apparently need to have over exaggerated designs. I don't know why that is, but I don't get why they had to ruin it with his mouth because it's very scary looking, almost like a Cheshire cat kind of grin. I love Sandy. I love how she's just like a normal looking ostrich. She's actually an ostrich because the majority of the ostrich villagers are actually other birds like Cranston is a crane and Phoebe is a phoenix. Although she is pretty boring, I think she's cute. I wouldn't necessarily want her on my island because I already have Marina as my nor normal villager. She's cool. I think I'd get along with her. Savannah is really cool. She's a zebra horse villager and she's very different. I wouldn't mind having her on my island if she wasn't a normal villager. I just think her design is creative. It's a different thing for the horse villagers. Instead of like with many other horses where they're like, okay let's do something different than a conventional horse and then they just make it completely ugly and unnecessary looking. They ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they- Okay I know I have make this whole sad montage about most of the villagers that leave. Scoot was surprised to me. I didn't know he wanted to leave so badly. I was kind of offended that he wanted to leave. But in the end, I had two jock villagers and I wasn't gonna let go of Hamlet. It was I was this close to not wanting to let him go. But you know, sometimes you have to prune the leaves of trees in order for them to grow. And I believe this is one of those situations. Scoot, if you're out there, just know that I will always love you. I think Sherry's really cute. In Jacksepticeye's videos, he like hates her so much. Apparently she's trying to murder him. Which, I mean, I get it. You know, she's like a wolf in sheep's clothing or wolf in monkey's clothing. She's designed after a certain kind of monkey, a uh, squirrel monkey, that they have yellow hands and feet because they pee on themselves which I mean it's kind of gross but she makes it work. Sheldon is so funny looking. He is a jock but obviously he's a little small squirrel which is so funny. He has angry eyebrows but like he looks like the kind of villager that you could never be angry at. I like his freckles and you know his coloring but my love for him does not go beyond that unfortunately. Shep is adorable. I would love to have him on my island. Since my last video I have Leopold now instead of Ursula thankfully she's gone. Even though she was really beautiful, I don't like her personality. So I finally have a smug villager. But to be fair, I have three cranky villagers. So having two smug villagers would be fine. I like his hair. And apparently sometimes when he reacts, his eyes will show or one of his eyes will show. So that's pretty cool. Sherp is one of the top villagers popularity-wise. I think he is absolutely adorable. Another lazy villager. I wouldn't mind having another lazy villager. Mad Morph, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Animal Crossing related YouTuber who also Twitch streams. He has Sherb on his island and I love watching them interact. Sherb is so adorable. Though even though the lazy villagers all have the same dialogue, I feel like he's different than Cranston, which is my lazy villager. I don't know. 
I love him. I would want him on my island. He is on the dreamy list of mine. But if, you know, he were to move away, I would rather let him go than Cranston go. And I know that I would be very well compensated. Simon is pretty cool. He's also pretty scary. I don't know what kind of monkey he is, why he has a red face or anything like that. Some of you guys might hate me for this, but I saw Skye when I was villager hunting and I didn't pick her up. I think that was a trip that I found Octavian. And Octavian has been in my heart for the longest. I love him. So it was worth passing her up. She's a normal villager, which, you know, they're nothing to write home about. So. I was fine. She's really cute. I've seen other people in her in other, but she's really cute. I've seen videos where other people have her, and she looks like a sweetheart. I don't think she fits into the dynamic of my village, you know. Sly is one of those that, from the get, you look at him and you're like, he's ugly. I saw him villager hunting, but he's a jock. You know, the jocks are really cute, even though they're always talking about working out. I don't know why he has to be camouflaged and wear a camouflage shirt as his default, but I mean, it's not my decision. Nintendo team did that, so who knows. So Snake is a villager that my boyfriend's on. He really wants on the island. I've gotten him to play a little bit. He has his little house and everything, but I'm the one who does everything for him and pays off his loans and plays on his profile because he will play for like 15 to 20 minutes max and then get tired of it because apparently it's so much hard work to play Animal Crossing. But Snake is a villager that he's shown interest in and I can't blame him because he, even though he's a pink bunny, he's a ninja. His design is a reference to a character called Solid Snake from another video game. He's a black belt. That's pretty cool. I think they could have been way more creative with Snooty's name. I get it. She's Snooty. She has a snout. So I guess it's related in some sense. It's some sort of pun. I also don't really like her coloring. So I don't know if it's Soleil or Soleil. So many people have been pronouncing it different ways. But this particular hamster, she's okay. Let's face it, okay? There is one female hamster villager that overshadows her. And I'm so sorry. Again, I don't like hitting strong powerful women against each other but Soleil doesn't bring that much to the table besides her two different color ears and her little hair it's pretty boring I would want her for my all hamster island if we were able to have multiple islands but other than that I don't know I'm feeling a very strong zero out of ten on Sparrow or Sparrow Sparrow's, Sparrow's pizza, I don't know. If he's gonna bring you pizza, then maybe. The spike is I think like he's one of the scariest villagers. It's cool that he has gold bracelets and anklets and he has golden horns and his ears are gold. But I don't know who it was. I was watching a video and somebody pointed out that it looks like his brain is exposed. And ever since then, I can't unsee it. You better stop! stop. Spork is... I don't know. Sprinkle is so adorable. The only thing that is off about her are her eyes because they have this blank stare behind them that even though she's a peppy villager and they tend to be very bubbly and full of personality and lively, she just looks like, I don't know, she's like one of those animatronic Chuck E. Cheese machines with no one inside of it. Sprocket is cool. I think it's creative that he's a robot. But other than that, it just leaves me wanting more with this design. Like, they just left that at the fact that he's a robot and they just thought that would be okay. Static is one electric squirrel. I love him. I love that he's cranky and very small and a squirrel and purple. I love the lightning green that he has. I had him on my island for a good amount of time. Cue the very sad music. He was one of the villagers that sang so much. I probably have so many clips of him singing. <laughs> I sold him. He was the first villager that I ever sold on Nukazan. 
because that's when I had him, it was around the time I was getting used to that. And side note, if you want to buy anything from me on Nookazon, my listing is in the description. And even if I'm, it says I'm offline, if you send me a message on Discord or Instagram or Twitter or something like that, I'll, I'll hook you up. He was a sweetheart. I like to joke around and say that he's my Animal Crossing boyfriend because he was always complimenting me. He was always uplifting me. He was always just, you know, a solid rock I could depend on and a shoulder for me to lean on, you know what I mean? I just love him so much. I know I say that about almost every villager that leaves my island, that I love them, that I blah 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 blah, but seriously, like, I develop such a connection with these pixels, it's crazy. Not a romantic connection, you know, that's a little ironic, but it's like, they're my children or something, or my, I don't know, this game just really does it to you. I think Stell is one of the cutest sheep in the game. Honestly, most of the sheep are cute. She's one of the top ones. I just think even though her design is simple and she's a normal villager, that it works for her and the magenta color with the realistic colored horns. The one gripe I have about the sheep in general is why do all of them have horns? Even the female ones have horns, like that's not accurate. I'm conflicted on how I feel about Stern. On one hand, just like Nox, I think the medieval theme of his design and Nox's design are really cool. But on the other hand, I'm thinking to myself, why does there need to be two of them? Why can't there be more, you know what I mean? Like the superhero theme villages like Big Top, Agent S, Kit Kat. There's like a whole handful of them, why can't they do that with the medieval ones and even throw in a female one, you know what I mean? I just don't like his red and blue feather coloring. If they would have just left it as blue or just red, I think it would have been better. Okay, so why does Stinky get so much hate? Like, I guess his name is Stinky, but you can't smell him through the screen, you know? I just think he's really cute and his catchphrase is like, gah. Either he's like wrestling, he's like pouncing, or he's scared of something. Either way, I think it suits him so much. It's really funny how he's like wearing a mask and it looks like underwear on his face. Stitches is another villager that my boyfriend has expressed interest in acquiring to our island. I don't know why he receives as much hype as he does, considering the other hyped and popular villagers are cuter than he is, but I guess his whole gimmick of being like a stuffed toy works for him. I don't like his eyes because most of the time in cartoons when stuffed bears or stuffed animals have eyes like that it's because they've been ripped out so that just concerns me. I like his little toe beans. Any of the villagers that have toe beans just grow on me so. Stu is alright. I think for the weird bowls that they have and for him being blue he's actually pretty cool. Pretty normal looking. He is a lazy villager, which is a little, like, he doesn't look like one. I would have thought that he would have been a cranky villager. Sydney is another adorable koala. I like her purplish color. It works, especially with the default outfit. She comes with the New Horizons. I think it really complements her, and yeah, she's cute. She's a normal villager, so. Sylvana is another conflicting villager because you look at her and you're like, wow, she's so cute. But then the more I look at her, the more she looks like one of those men who are balding but then their beards connect to the little hair that they have like that teacher from Ned's Declassified with the comb over that's what she reminds me of Sylvia along with most of the kangaroos I just don't understand the design the direction of the design maybe it's because I'm not a, a creative design type visual arts person she just looks angry all the time and so does her little Joey, so I don't know, man. She maybe needs some therapy or something. T-Bone is unnecessary, and I don't appreciate the pun of his name referring to a cut of steak in which you consume cows. Like, can you not? Tabby is cute in a really creepy, unsettling way that I wouldn't want her on my island, and I'm only saying this to appease her so she doesn't kill me. Tad... I have not yet seen Tad in the game. I've seen him on Pocket Camp, but I've never seen him in New Horizons, you know? I like his house design. It's very rustic and rural looking, almost like he's on a picnic or something on a farm or in a park. It's really cute. I'm not going to say too much about Tammy because she's on my friend's island. My friend really likes her. And I like it that she's a lemur, but I think she's really creepy. 
Tammy looks like she's constantly judging me and I want to click out of her picture so quickly so don't mind if I do. Tangy is one of the gimmicky themed villagers that I appreciate. She is very popular for good reason. I would not have her on my island because again I have Mary already as a peppy cat and I kind of like her design a little bit better. Tangy is cool. If somebody had her on their island I would want to visit her you know what I mean talk to her. I think Tank is really cute. The rhinos in this game are either hit or miss for me and he's definitely a hit. Tasha looks very mysterious. Now is this a mystery that I want to discover and find out? I don't even know. It's a mystery to me. Oh my god. I love Teddy so much besides claws. I think he's my favorite bear. I love his eyes and his eyebrows. His thick eyebrows. Thick eyebrow gang. He's the most realistic looking bear and it could be boring, but it's not, you know? It, it just makes him look cuter. I think Tex is pretty cool. I used to be like obsessed with him in pocket camp. He was always in my camp. Also because he has like the cool theme furniture. I just don't like his letterman jacket. It's giving me strong like frat boy vibes, which I'm not a fan of. In my eyes, there's not really any bad penguins. And I like his catchphrase because I like spicy food. I like Tia. A lot of the time she is compared to Margie, which I don't know why because their designs are different. Different enough for them not to have to be compared to each other. I think she's adorable. She is one of the theme villagers that again, that it works for her. She's a teacup and the pun of her, Tia, has nothing to do with her being an elephant and being consumed as food. If only you could hear what's going on in my mind right now thinking about and looking at this picture of Tiffany. Like, no god no god please no i think timber is really cute she's another one of the villagers that kind of looks almost human in her facial features you know she could just look like a, a tan girl her name timbra is supposed to be a pun on timber and also the fact that her phrase is pine nut also refers to trees now what that has to do with her being a sheep or her being a snooty villager, I have no idea, but I think she's cute. Tipper is my favorite cow. She's the most realistic looking cow. I've seen her twice on my villager hunting adventures. I didn't get her because I already have Gwen as a snooty villager and I didn't think I would ever say something like this, but I might want to be letting Gwen go. I don't know. I don't know. But if she were to ask to leave or if there's a campsite villager that wanted to replace her. Perhaps I might let her go, but not necessarily for Tipper. I also saw Tom in my villager island hopping adventures. I think it's cute that he's a cranky little cat. His eyes are kind of creepy, like he's judging me, but again the stereotype of cats is that they're always judging you and watching you creepily, even though they're not. They're probably just thinking about when their next meal is gonna be. I didn't get him on my island because I think that they're a better cat, but if the time ever comes and the feeling is right, the atmosphere and the vibes are aligned, maybe. Truffles is a bit of a mistake, and I was today years old when I found out that Truffles was a girl. I think Tucker's design is very creative, the fact that he's a woolly mammoth. He's the only prehistoric villager. The closest thing to prehistoric would be Anka but she's like an ancient Egyptian cat, not necessarily prehistoric. I wouldn't mind having him on my island because I haven't had an elephant yet and he's a lazy villager, so I wouldn't mind having another lazy villager, but I wouldn't hold on to him for too long. I think Tutu is really cute. I like how it kind of looks like she's sunburned or something. She has a little blush on the bridge of her nose and she's peppy and it's really funny because just like there's the contradiction of the small jocks, the big peppy villagers, I think are really funny too. I don't want to stereotype, okay? But when you think peppy, small villagers, you think of Rosie, Mary, you think of apples, but to have her be a big bear, I think it's really cute. I think Twiggy is my favorite bird. Maybe because she looks like Tweety. Like, I would want to have a bird like that in real life. I think she's really cute. And she seems like a good time. Tybalt is my next favorite tiger besides Wolf. Maybe it's just in the fact that he's the most realistic looking tiger. He's not bright orange like Rowan and he's not all these different weird colors. He's not a leopard or a snow leopard. He's just a tiger. With those eyebrows you would have thought that he's cranky but he's a jock villager. I don't know if his name has anything to do with Romeo and Juliet because Tybalt is one of the main characters. I recently bid adieu to Ursula. 
I honestly enjoyed having her for the time that she was on my island, but there's just something about the sisterly villagers, like when you talk to them, they give you an attitude after you only talk to them like twice or three times. Whereas the other villager types are a little bit more subtle and passive aggressive with their annoyance, the sisterly villagers are straight on with it. I like her. I like her, her eyebrows are slanted, it kind of makes her look like she's always worried. It's kind of cute, honestly. I like the pun of her name. And I do not regret having her on my island, but I also, it's gonna sound so bad, I don't regret letting her go because now I have Leopold and he's so cute. And he has toe beans. I don't know why people think that Velma is such an ugly goat villager. I mean, have you seen goats in real life? They're already not the most universally seen as cute animals just based on how they look. I don't know why you expect Velma to be held at the same standard as, let's say, the Sherbs of the world, but I think that it's really cool how they base her off of Velma from Scooby-Doo. At least I, I hope they do because it would be a very, very interesting coincidence if she wasn't based off of her. I like her freckles. Goats have the beards, so I get it that it makes it kind of confusing for her to be a female goat and to have a beard. Like, maybe they should have just made her beard part pink like the rest of her so it wouldn't be as beard looking. I don't know. But I mean, if she's a woman she wants to have a beard, who am I to stop her? I wanted Vesta to move into my island. She was a campsite villager, one of the first ones I had when I was trying to kick out you know who. Which if you don't know, check my previous videos and you know. I really like her dark blue face. Is it dark blue? Is it black? It kind of looks like dark blue. And the contrast with her really light wool. I think it works for her. I just don't think her horns should be yellow and orange. Like if it was a little bit more muted, I think it would work better. But she's an overall decent looking sheep. Vic also looks like a human and that kind of makes me uncomfortable I'm, I'm not gonna lie i think it's really cool that he's like a viking themed villager and that he by default has a hat because like with scoot if you give him a hat they put the hat on top of their hat and i think that's really funny victoria 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 i guess her name is based off of the fact that she's supposed to be like a racehorse and she's victorious i don't like the idea of horse racing at all so her design is a no for me dog. Jesus Christmas man, where are they getting these villager designs from? I swear, whoever designed her, no offense to you, but I think you need to go outside a little bit, have some fresh air, because maybe like they spent so much time trying to design these villagers that they started going crazy and then that's how Violet was born. I mean, I feel bad for her. Vivian is another intimidatingly good looking villager. I think she's so beautiful. She looks like a German Shepherd. They're very beautiful dogs and she's a very beautiful wolf. I just don't like her default outfit that she came with. You guys have to stop bullying Vladimir because I think he is super cute. He is a pink cranky cub with a unibrow and little blonde bangs and his little teeth sticking out or teeth I should say. Actually tooth because it looks like it's just one. But I think he's really cute. I love his design. The juxtaposition between his personality and his bright color are really interesting to me. And overall, I think he's a cool looking villager. Maybe he could replace one of my cranky villagers. Probably not gonna happen because I'm so attached to all of them, but who knows. I think Wade is like a derpy, cute looking penguin. I really like his design. I don't need any more penguins on my island. I already have Gwen and Hopper. And honestly, I haven't been exposed to him much. I haven't seen him much in videos or my own game. So he's an overall well-designed villager. Walker is one of the dogs that isn't discussed as much. And I think that's with good reason because his eyes creep me out. I would not, under any circumstances, even if it were for my own survival, mess with Walt because he looks like he's a retired martial arts legend even though he only has a white belt which I just realized that now hmm I think it's cute that his cat raises pockets it kind of adds a little bit of cuteness to him because kangaroos have pouches I mean he doesn't have a pouch because he's a male kangaroo but you know you, you know what he means Wart Jr. is really cute I know the fact that his name is Wart Jr. and he has those bumps on his body that look like warts might make some people uncomfortable or grossed out, but frogs have warts at the end of the day. It's not that big of a deal. I like his catchphrase. Obviously, he's a, a frog, so it makes sense. It's Gribbit, I guess the grr part being he's a cranky villager, but he looks like a good time. I wouldn't personally want him on my island, but he seems like a decent guy. Also, I want to know why he's a junior. Like, why isn't he just wart? Why is he the only villager with that kind of 
suffix to his name, you know? Weber is absolutely adorable. He's a lazy villager, but he looks like he would be cranky because of like his eyebrows. Or maybe even smug, you know what I mean? He looks like he looks like he's a spoiled little British boy or something like that. I love his little hair. I love his color and the default outfit that he comes with in New Horizons. There's nothing bad about him. I think Wendy's absolutely adorable. The only thing that I would change about her is make her color tones a little less vibrant because they're clashy, especially with her watermelon shirt and her bright aqua turquoise wool and her bright yellowish horns. I like her little buck teeth. Honestly, I would like to talk to her and I wouldn't mind, you know, taking a picture with her or something, but I wouldn't necessarily want her on my island. Another moment that's gonna make everyone hate me is that I passed up on Whitney as well on my trip villager hunting. I actually got her right after I saw Sky. like she was immediately on the next island. And even though she is one of the more famous villagers, she is one of the classic ones. She was in the anime movie. I didn't like her character in the movie though. She was almost oppressive to the main character. Like, they shouldn't act like this. A lady shouldn't act like this. Blah, blah, blah. There's something in me that I kind of just don't like when people tell me what to do sometimes. I'll do it, but I'll be passive aggressive about it. I like her design. You know, she's a white wolf, like an arctic wolf or something like that. Willow is absolutely adorable. Again, Mad Morph has her on his island and he kind of gives her like a an old lady kind of voice because she's snooty she's like the grandma of the island her design is so cute with the pastel pinkish colors and then the brighter yellow and her phrase is OP. I would like to have her on my island maybe if the time came if I ever felt like letting Gwen go she would be a good fit Winnie can just giddy up on out of here I used to get Wolfgang and Lobo confused a lot because they're both blue wolves I feel like they didn't have to have both. Now which one is better, I can't say. They're both cranky wolves. They both have a similar kind of look. Wolfgang is kind of like a celebrity. He's on like cover art for one of the KK Slider songs. I think it's KK Adventure. I'll include a picture because I don't remember exactly what it's called. I think Yuka is cute with her navy blue color and the fact that she's a snooty villager wins points with me. I feel like her eyes are so low on her face and they're like constantly either closed or almost closed so it's like she's either uninterested in what you're saying or falling asleep or daydreaming which i mean that's me in a nutshell so i can relate a lot to her her catchphrase is tisk tisk so i'm a little wary in the fact that she might correct me if i ever do anything wrong and her name yuka is based off of eucalyptus which is see that's how you can do a food pun without alluding to killing an animal and eating them. Zell is really cool. He has the same default outfit that Kyle does, which I don't like that outfit. He looks like he's just chill. He looks like a geezer with a bit of banta. I think his design is really cool. He's a gazelle and his name is Zell. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Award-winning comedy. Lastly, but definitely not leastly, is Zucker. Zucker has been taking the world by storm. Everybody loves him. He's one of the top rated lazy villagers and villagers in general. I don't know how far up he is on the list currently, but I remember when the game came out, everybody wanted Zucker. The desire for him has been dwindling down. I guess it's because people know what his design is based off of now and they're a little wary that he refers to Takayaki. And of course my camera died. So here we are now in a different angle. As I was saying, Zucker is based off of takoyaki, which is a fried snack from Japan, so it's kind of morbid, but I think he's really cute. I wouldn't want him on my island because I like Octavian better, but yeah, to wrap it up, I just want to say thank you if you've stuck through all these videos. It's been fun making them and editing them and learning different skills. I'm still new at all this, so everything sucks still, probably, but... Thank you for watching. Leave a big like and suggestions for more things that I can do. And, you know, leave me your friend code if you want. We can become friends and visit each other's islands and bully each other's villagers, maybe. So not Apple. Don't bully Apple. Or Cranston. Bye-bye. Oh, no.